In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the thumbnail on your Facebook videos. Whether you've uploaded a video or you've gone live, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can replace the thumbnail of your video with one that you've created yourself, or I'll show you how to choose a frame from within your own video. So stay tuned. Here we go. So the first thing you've got to do is make sure that you're you're signed into Facebook. And then you need to make sure that you're acting as your Facebook page. So go to the C profiles, swap down to your Facebook page, then go straight to your page and find the video in question. So here we are on my Facebook page. So I'm gonna scroll down and here's the video that I'd like to show you how to change the thumbnail for. So the first thing you wanna do is click on the actual video. In Just gonna pause it for you. Now, Traditionally, we used to go to the three dots and choose one of the options from there. However, with the new Facebook changes, we need to click on view more video details. So go ahead and click that. Now that's going to open up the Creator Studio. So as you can see, I'm inside my Creator Studio. Click return here to go back to the video on your page, otherwise stay here. Now the next thing we want to do to actually change the thumbnail on our video is to click here where it says edit post. So go ahead and click that. Now that's gonna open up this new pop-up window. And as you can see, it's asking you to do cloud. So we'll just click later for that. Let's get straight into what we're doing. You've got your title of your video, you've got the content of your post. What we wanna do is look over here on the right-hand side of the bar. Video details give you the title and the content. Accessibility gives you the options to make sure that you auto-generate captions and subtitles and if you want to you can upload your caption file however you don't really need to do that because Facebook is doing that for you jump down to the thumbnail this is the bit that is super useful for all of us that are doing live videos on Facebook or are uploading videos we want to choose our thumbnail so we've got three different options inside of Facebook to do this we can do the auto generated image which is what we usually get stuck on when we're doing funny faces like or we're halfway through a conversation like and we get stuck with that thumbnail on our video and it like it just does your head in. OK, so you can choose from the auto generated and it gives you auto generated videos, thumbnails, depending on the length of your video. So if your video is quite a short video, you'll have less selection. The longer the video, the more selection of thumbnails that you can have. You can also choose from the video frame. So down here. You can slide this little bar across and you can choose from the video frame and use that as your thumbnail. So the third way that you can create a thumbnail for your video is to actually upload one that you've created earlier. Now you can go ahead and create a video thumbnail in Canva or you can use a video editing suite such as like I use wave.video where you can actually create your thumbnail as well. If you want to find out by, about both of those pieces of software, then I've dropped a link below this video for those. To upload your own custom video thumbnail, all you do is click add image. So after you've clicked the add image, it's going to open up your computer files. Go ahead and find the thumbnail that you've already created and click open. And it's going to upload that video thumbnail to Facebook. So as you can see, I've got my video thumbnail there ready to go. Then all you have to do is click the save button and it's going to add that unique thumbnail to your video. So no more images promoting your video. You've got a nice created thumbnail that you've created yourself inside of either Canva or another photo video editing software. Now, as you can see, it's changed the thumbnail here in your Creator Studio. So just go back to your page, scroll down. And as you can see there, just as I go in, you can see that the thumbnail is there. So it's all ready to be seen by everybody else. So now you know how to change the video thumbnail of your Facebook videos, whether you uploaded that video or you went live. So I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And especially if you are a female business owner, age 40 plus, who finds the changes online difficult to deal with. My name is Anita Wong and I empower female entrepreneurs age 40 plus to use all of the digital tools that are available to them online to create the visibility that they deserve. And if you want to learn more about video marketing, using video across YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, and also empowering yourself to really get to grips with what's happening online and grow your business effectively and confidently, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. If you'd like to learn how to create a thumbnail for your Facebook video, inside of Canva, then don't forget to check out my next video.